time coming, all it took was a little patience. Yeah. I know I went one day. Hey, hey, I know I went one day. Can't let the nigga kill me for a living. Hey everyone, welcome to or back to my channel. And today I'm going to be showing you all how to make your own flyers, business cards, and even t shirts using your phone for free using two apps. I do so like my business cards. I got them from doing one of the apps. So. If you all like this type of content, please make sure you like, comment, and subscribe so you can get more of it. Also, comment and let me know what other videos you would like to see from me next. Okay, so we'll mainly be using one app. The main app we'll be using is this blue Canva app right here, which is free. The other app that I say we'll be using is the Risa app. Now, the Canva app is the app that lets you um, actually print off and order whatever product you make using the app. This app basically helps you erase the background of your images. So, I say we're going to use this app because it's going to be a major key in making our flight today. So, first, we're going to open the Canva app. As you can see, it says create a design. We have different categories to choose from, like logos, Instagram posts. They even have um, story posts, t-shirts like I told you all, videos, presentations, labels, and so much more. Today, we are going to be making a flyer. So, when you first click on a flyer, they have different templates you can choose from. Right now, the main thing, theme is Christmas. Then you have Thanksgiving, so on and so on. You can use one of these templates and you can change the colors and everything else. But today, we're going to start with a blank template. So we have uploads. Uploads are things from your gallery that you uploaded to Canva and you would like to put on your flyer. So we're going to do that later. We also have photos. They, also, they have photos that you can use or you can use your own photos. Elements, text, videos, camera roll background images and so much more so today i think we can just use a simple background from the app so let's see hmm. i want to use something different but i'll probably just use make my flights the way i usually make them so you can make yours like mine if you would like to that's fine i don't really care so main apps i the main backgrounds i use are the marble i love marble that's really my thing so i'm gonna go with the white marble now this background i did get from canva i just typed in marble um let me see let me show you all something really fast. you can type in backgrounds like something that you have in mind to see what they have so let's say um flowers different flower backgrounds pop up um let's just say food, food items backgrounds pop up um So you can literally type in anything and basically get a background. But I don't want to use this background, so I'm going to go back and use the marble background like I did before. I'm just going to type in marble. Well, it's right there. So I'm just going to click on that. Okay, so now that we clicked on that, we are going to give our flyer a title or a text or something. Write some words in it. So I'm just going to click text. They have many different... Um, fonts but before you pick a font you have to pick a type of heading that you want or like a page that you want or you can click one of these from below so i'm just gonna add a heading it's gonna be blank so i click on it and before you can change the font or the size or anything you have to actually type something so i'm just gonna say make a flyer i think i'm with the last two capitals so no that's fine So we have that. Then you're gonna click done. Once you click done, as you can see at the bottom, it says open sends extra. Um, the font size, bold, you can underline it, change the color, and everything else. So I'm gonna change the font first. Let's see. The fonts with a uh, um, crown buyer are the ones you have to pay for, but everything, the ones without it are all free. So I'm gonna be different. I'm gonna use something I never used before. We can use this. So, as you can see, the font change and it's cute. I'll stick with it. I'm gonna change the, the size of it so that it all can be on one line. 
Then I'm gonna move this up. Also, we can change the color. I really like the black. It kind of blends with the with, blends in with the marble, but I'm going to change it just to show you all. Um, purple. And then you can also pick a custom color if you would like, just by doing this, picking the color and just changing it around to whatever you like. Um, that's cute, so we can go with that for today. So next we're going to upload some type of image or something that we want to go on the flight. So like I said at first, uh, you can go to uploads and they'll show you things from my gallery. Now, as you can see, a lot of things from my gallery don't have uh, um, background and that's because I use the erase app so like these lips you can freely move them and you see there's nothing behind it no black border or anything so to do that I'm going to show you how to do it using the other app which is the erase app so we're going to go into this erase app when you first go in it's a, it should be just clear and empty and you're going to pick the little gallery icon right there at the top once you click that it's going to say photos and everything else so what we're going to do is click photos and click the image so this image is the image I'm gonna use so you're gonna click erase now you can just use a, a plain eraser and it's gonna just tap on the screen and it'll start erasing for you but as you can see I already cut off a piece of my image right there so I don't really like to use it you can also change the size of the eraser so I could have used something way smaller which would help but we're just not gonna do that today so I'm gonna go back using the arrow at the top and restart the picture picture then I'm gonna press target area which is a button right in the middle and I'm just gonna click on the image and it'll delete most of the background for me after that I can use the regular eraser and just go I'm gonna make this a little bigger go and delete the extra stuff I see in the background so then none of that is on the picture when I put it on Canva so you want your background to be clear as possible so like any little dots you see you want to delete them so it does not pop up on Canva. So there you go then we're going to press the done. Once you do that you're going to press the arrow at the top. Now you're going to have to watch this little snippet of the video. It should be over really fast and then you should save your image. I'm going to just save it right to my gallery. It is saved. So now we're going to go back to Canva. So I'm going to leave this here. I really like the lips. So you can also Google images and send them to your phone. It didn't go erase the background. So that's kind of what I did with this picture. I got this off of Google. So we're just going to put this here. And then I'm going to go to Uploads again, Upload Media, and I'm going to just pick that last picture that we just saved. It should be white like this, and I'm going to upload it to my Canva. It's taking a minute. Okay, it's taking a minute, so I'm just gonna use this. I actually have this image that I had already got and used the eraser app for, so I'm just gonna use this. And I'm gonna change the name of this flyer to make it match the images I use, just so it can be on one of them. So I have a cosmetic business, so that's why I have most of these pictures saved into my uploads. And I'm going to change the size of this again so it could be on one line. And I'm going to change the color. I'm going to change it to a pink. So like I said, as you can see, also what I do like about Canva, say you have an image on there, they give you color um, references. That relate to your images so you see most of my images are a bunch of pink so they gave me pinks and colors around that pink to help fit with the images i use so that everything you know can all fall into one thing so i'm gonna just use this because it's darker so i really like the way this is set up um 
you can put a border around here so i uploaded a border already i got this border from like i said google and i just used the wrist app to erase the background that came on it so i'm just gonna do this And I want the list to be on top of this, I think. So I'm gonna do this first. Move that up down to the side of the way. Then I'm gonna put this back up here. And I want the list to be on top, so I'm gonna click off and click on the list. And yeah. So I like the way everything looks, so I'm just gonna write some more words on here. Um I'm going to type heading again. I'm going to say. Step one. Let's just do the dash. So that's gonna be a little step. I'm gonna change the size of this again. So, they can fit. so you don't have to make it this small. You also can just do like that and choose what best fits. Um, I just feel like I wanna do it like this. This is only one step. I don't really like the way this looks though. So let's see. What I will do is just. So it's clicking on the element. So I'm gonna turn this back around. I'm gonna click on this again and basically just press enter to make it. I don't know how I wanna say this. Fill out more, but smaller so it can fit on the screen the way I want it to. And I'm just gonna do it again. And please be careful because, like, you see, I can easily pick one element and move it around or move it out of place. So, I'm going to click on this. And I'm going to change the text again to make it a little smaller. I think that right there. And it will be bigger. And you can change the text color again. I'm just going to leave it as black. Just because it's a simple tutorial, I just wanted to show you all how easy it is to use the app. Now, say I wanted to actually pay for this, I'm going to just download it. So, say I wanted to make this an actual flight. I'm going to download it and save it to my camera roll. Um, let's see. I'm gonna go home, all the way home. I'm gonna go to designs. So these are all the designs I've made before. They're all saved here. And this one is generating, currently saving. I'm just gonna show you all how to actually get these flyers printed and sent to you from home. You can you can save this to your gallery and just, um, Use your own print it and print these off, or you can actually print them off from Canva. So I'm trying to see. This is taking really long. Uh, let's try this. So it says print flyers suggested. Um, you also can share this to any other app. I think that you allowed this to, but we're just gonna try to say print it. So if they print the files for you it is a charge that's why i said it's easier to just print them yourself but they have different types of paper that you can use so they have a matte finish a gloss finish which will give it a, um more of a slick look and then they have different types of papers you can choose from you can choose the copies and change the price of it so five copies is way cheaper you can get a thousand copies for 280. I feel like these prices are really cheap and affordable. So, yeah. Um, I think that's all for us today. Like I said, you can just play around, play around with the app and see what you like. 
and change it as you please. Um, if you all like this type of content and if it was helpful for you, please like, comment, and subscribe and let me know what else you'd like to see.